Hi, this is Mrs. Black Gold. My boys just brought in all the stuff I picked up at the Dollar Tree today. And this is my biggest haul yet. So I had to take a little breather and say, okay, Sonya, you've got a lot to get through. And this cannot be over 15 minutes. So I'm getting started right away. Okay. I picked up a large amount of garden stuff today. So let me jump and show you the food first. I finally found... The three cheese Snyder's pretzel proppers. I've only showed the original before. I finally found the three cheese. I also found the cinnamon sugar. Got to move on from these pretzel poppers. But I'm glad I was able to get those because I've only had the original. I picked up these mini teddies, honey, as well as the mini teddies chocolate chip. So that the uh, youngest son will have some stuff to put in his lunch bag. Alright, let's put some other food. I saw in the Dollar Tree today, and I thought maybe the boys would get a kick out of trying them, the Nathan's Classic Hot Dog Flavor Potato Chips. And this says this is Nathan's 100th anniversary. The flavor is actually ketchup, mustard, and relish potato chips. So I'm hoping they like them, but it'll be a test try. Okay, this is something new I found at this Dollar Tree on University Boulevard. These are called Pizzetti. Emmentaler, tomato, and garlic. I have to look up what Emmentaler is. I'm assuming it might be a cheese. Please let me know if you've ever had these, if you've tried these. Um, it says they are made with real cheese, and this is a 5.64 ounce container. Let me know if you see a date on those, Bryce. I also picked up the Grana Padana and tomato. I'm assuming this is a... Okay, so 1117 is the actual expiration of that August, bag of green ones. August. Oh, August is not 11, baby. So August 11th. Oh, excuse me. August 11, 2017 is the expiration on those. These Pizzetti, and these are like a cracker. Grana Padano and tomato. I'm sorry. If I rush a little bit, it's because I have so much to show you all. And then I also picked up this last bag of these crackers. And these are the Emmentello, tomato, and olive. So that was a little bit of the difference. Let me show you those. So, And they all are 5.64 ounce containers. All right. I picked up the soy nuts, just trying to grab a healthy snack. These are straight soy nuts. Um, I, I, I can't do this today. September 23rd, 2017, Best Buy. I wanted to look and see how much sodium and so on for you all. I've got so much to show you. I also picked up the Soyful. Same company, um, but these soy nuts, it's a mix. It's the Soyful Mix. And this is actually dark chocolate covered, honey toasted. Um, it says lightly sea salted. It also uh, comes with pumpkin seeds and sweet and juicy cranberries. So it's more than just soy nuts. It's also cranberries and pumpkin seeds. Healthy little snack. I picked up by Imperial Nuts the Cranberry Blend. And this is peanuts, uh, cranberries, raisins, pumpkin seeds, and almonds. This bag is a three ounce bag. I picked up some garlic powder by Supreme Tradition. And the container is a 2.5 ounce container. I also picked up some Supreme Tradition New Orleans style seafood. And this got me because of the salmon. I've been eating a lot of salmon recently. So, um, I wanted to pick this up to put on my salmon. I actually picked up some salmon from Costco not too long ago. All right. I also grabbed, and this is something I have not seen in any other Dollar Trees, or maybe I didn't pay attention to it, but Stars and Stripe Fruit Mist. So, it's a, it's a seltzer water, peach, sparkling water beverage, I should say. Um, and it, has, it says peach, sparkling water beverage with other natural flavors. This is a two-liter bottle. And it's caffeine-free, calorie-free, and sodium-free. My oldest son loves peach flavor, so I'm hoping that he will enjoy this water, which is the best thing for him. Water. Eat. Okay. So, the Dollar Tree had these Revlon nail polishes in there. And if you can see, that says Revlon Parfumery. Cute little bottle. I probably should have took one out for you, but you can see it very well in the container. Now, this color is called... Read that for me on the front, baby. That's the color right there. Bordeaux. Oh, Bordeaux. <laughs> Bordeaux is that color, that deep red, that darker red. 
This says, um, Midnight Woman. Is that what that says? To Mountain Moonlit moon Woods. Huh? Mountain Woods. No, moon Moonlit moon. Woods. Moonlit Woods. And this is like a purple. Okay. This states... Surf Spray. Surf Spray is a blue, I guess for the ocean. A nice metallic-y blue. Mm -hmm. And... Bright? Beachy. Oh, beach. And beach is the gold, I guess for the sand. So, mm -hmm. I'm liking those colors. Then I did pick up, they had the Kylie Jenner uh, nail polishes, the sinful colors. So I grabbed some. I'm not going to have Bryce uh, tell me the name, but I picked up that purple. This is a, excuse me, another shade of purple. These two together, they're not the same. Hopefully you can see the difference a little bit. And then, oh, this is another shade of purple. So those three shades of purple, you can probably see them better next to each other. And then these two shades of blue. And these are all the Kylie Jenner simple colors. I've been hearing a lot of Dollar Tree hauls, people talking about them, but I never had them. Moving on, I picked up some wall art, more wall art for my kitchen and or dining room. Mom's Kitchen. It says, today's special, take it or leave it. That is the truth with my boys. They think I'm a sous chef. The next wall art, and if you see the wall art, it's really cute. It has the, uh, the wire hanger, the two little ribbons that come on it. It says, our kitchen, love served here. I thought that was so cute. Let me show you the back of the wall art. They also had one that said, um, never trust the skinny chef. And then this one, just roll with it. I thought that was cute because I love baking. I don't bake as much from scratch as I should, but I do love it. Okay. Let me get to the bags I picked up today. I just couldn't go by and leave these bags there. This is just a gold gift bag. You can use it for anything. That's what the side looks like. And of course the back is not metallic like the front. This, this is gold, silver, and white. I love that design. The side is identical, the bottom. Love this blue, the different shades of blue, the white and the gold. The side is identical, the bottom is blue. And then my last two gift bags, show you the metallic front. Oh, here we go. And you see it's shaped like it starts, putting it in my way, babe. It's, uh, it starts like this, uh, a little larger at the top. And slims down to the bottom. You can see that as well on the back. The back is not as uh, glittery. doesn't have glitter like, you know, the front does. And then the side of the bag is striped. So I thought that was really nice. And then there is an orange one. Same design with glitter on the front. Stripes on the side. So. Okay. This is that Solar Dancing Dinosaur. <gasps> So, I think I'm going to put this in my car. The boys will get a kick out of it, especially the four-year-old, to see that dancing in the car. All right. I picked up this book on space. It says, Questions and Answers, Space, Explore the Universe. And, of course, this is for the boys, for them to read. Straight to the point today. No commentaries. I picked up some more Crayola Project Paint, but they have it in red at the Dollar Tree. So this is great. We've seen yellow. We've seen white. I think we've seen black, maybe green. And blue. Um, but so collecting every color. They don't have them all at once, but they keep getting them in. Okay. I picked up the gemstone stickers in red, blue, and green. So 
When you think about some of the cases you might get at the Dollar Tree for your phone, you can bling them out yourself. Just stick those stickers on there. I did pick up another ink pad. This one is in blue. So I had an ink pad now in red and green, and I have an ink pad in blue. All right. Um, I don't have the thank you stamper, so I did grab the thank you. This is for Big Daddy. When he goes to work, he can put his uh, lunch in here. If I make food, dinner, I can put his, you know, lunch for the next day in there. <coughs> Excuse me, the leftovers. But the front of the container has a space for a fork and a knife. And they even give you one. How cute. So it has the um, small part to it and then the bigger part for like a main dish and then your side. And these little snack containers with lids. Um... I find that when I run out of the snack bags, the snack plastic bags, I need to remember that you can just, I can throw my son's, uh, the one, the little one who takes lunch to school, I can put his little grapes or whatever in here and put them in his lunchbox. Okay, everybody else has, has sold me on these to a certain degree. I was really paying attention to them today because I've noticed that they do say sensitive skin. I've seen a whole lot of other hauls where ladies have said they believe in these Maxi Thin Feminine Cleansing Cloths. They come 32. I, I've compared them to the Assured that are in the Dollar Tree. Those are only 30 cloths, but they're also, I believe, not sensitive skin. So I said I'm going to go ahead and try them because they are sensitive skin. Because I can only use Dove on my stuff. Unscented Dove. So I need to make sure that um, they said sensitive skin. And I just picked up this container. Um, I usually just throw my whole bag of Domino sugar on the counter when I'm doing my coffee or my tea in the morning. So I'm going to put some sugar in this container and sit it up on top of the kitchen counter. I picked up some of this Colgate Max Fresh. Now, this is a very small container, 2.5 ounce, but I just wanted to try it. I believe as well this is, it says Max Fresh with Whitening Knockout. So, it has a odor neutralizing technology. So, that was, you know, I just wanted to try this, and that's why I picked up this size. I am running low on the last bit of toothpaste I picked up from the Dollar Tree. So... If you try Colgate Max Fresh, please let me know how you've enjoyed it. All right, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep going, but I'm going to try my best as far as um, I know my video is supposed to go over 15 minutes, I think. So look at these, y'all. I picked up these um, containers to put water in, water cans. So one in green, one in blue, one in purple. Why did I get three? Because I do not have a hose right now for the outside. And yesterday I was watering the uh, plants around my bed. I The impatients I picked up, I did plant and I had to water those. And I was doing it with a water can. So I have three boys. All three of them can fill up. And I can fill up and we can get the job done quicker till I get a water hose. Now, I found these at the Dollar Tree. All-purpose weed barrier. So yesterday, this is what my boys and I did. We pulled weeds in the yard and in our flower plant area. And these are all-purpose, stops weed without chemicals, let air and water through to the roots, saves time from weeding. Um, you can use these in your seasonal gardens, around trees and shrubs, and in permanent planting areas. I should have bought every one that was in there. But for right now, I only purchased six because I want to see how big they are and see how I can lay them out. So that being said, I also picked up these fabric and garden staples because you can use these, as it says, to hold down this weed control fabric. So let me tell you how many come in here. Uh, six staples come in here. And can you see them pretty okay? They are actual staples. So uh, nice size staples. I should have probably opened some for you. But I was only able to find two packs. That's all they had in there. So I grabbed both packs so I can hold down this weed barrier. All right. Solar lights to line up along the, uh, you know, our walkway up to the front door. So I picked purple and yellow. Purple is my favorite color. was my mom. So um, this was just kind of, I think that's why I spent so much money today. My mother was a gardener. Hand me the hose, baby. And um, she just, gardening was like her life. She loved it. I also picked up this spray nozzle for when I do get my hose. I hope this spray nozzle works well in purple. Okay. 
So I was not able to find a hummingbird feeder at one Dollar Tree. I went to, a, um, and I didn't say that earlier, but I went to two Dollar Trees. And the first Dollar Tree I went to, they had one, but they didn't have the nectar. So I didn't get the hummingbird feeder. While the second Dollar Tree I went to had the hummingbird nectar. It's called Hummer's Galore Hummingbird Nectar. So I picked up two packets of these because I am going to go to the other Dollar Tree and get the hummingbird uh, nectar feeder. I found, yay, Miss Frida, you, I found the Job's house plants. So this is great. I have house plants growing now. They're just, you know, you stick them into your plant and it allows them to grow. It's like food for your plants, a fertilizer spike. I did pick up two of these, and I probably need more because we I already have stakes up above the house for these hanging baskets. But these you have to buy separately. This is called a cocoa liner, and you can put potting soil in here and actually plant whatever flower, type of flower you want. And then I have the hanger. I don't have to show the other one, baby. But I bought two of these. So I bought um, two hanging wire baskets and two cocoa planters. So, of course, you know, I had to pick up some more potting soil, and I did. I bought two bags of the potting soil. My Dollar Tree had this bird feeder tube, so I will be looking for bird seed at the Dollar Tree. And can you believe it? That said originally $5. So I, I found this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Uh, give him that whole bin, hon. Okay, let me give you that. So, the first Dollar Tree I went to, didn't find any more impatience. I need more to plant in the shaded area around the house. And so I picked this up. This is called Shade Area Wildflower Blend. But of course, what would happen? I go to the second Dollar Tree, and this is all they had were impatience. So I did find my impatience, and I'm going to be planting more. I picked up some gladiolas, because once I get this uh, weed barrier down, I'm going to be planting these gladiolas right along the sidewalk up to the house, or the pavement up, walking up to the house. And... I picked up two of these. Of course, you know, you can put potting soil in the hair and also plant. So, we'll see what I do with those. The Dollar Tree I went to has a metal flagpole. Can you see that whole flagpole? And you just stick it right in the ground. So, of course, if I'm going to have this flagpole, I need to have a flag. And I did pick up this garden flag that says welcome. And so you can see it better so I don't have to take it out. That's what the uh, garden flag would look like. All right. I don't have to show you everything, but I did pick up three of these because yesterday the boys were really out there helping me out. And I didn't have uh, one of these. And I had like one with just a single steak. And so I picked up another shovel. I already have one of these, but I picked up another um, trowel. Um, and they call this a cultivator. Uh, is this everything? I think this is the last but not least. I picked up these garden stakes. And I don't have to show you all of them. I picked up this sun. So beautiful with the blue, yellow, and the oranges bronze. I guess you call that bronze. I thought it would look so cute out there with the butterfly that is blue and bronze. And then I had to grab the butterf more butterflies with the purple because I love purple and it was my mother's favorite color as well. And any work I do out there in that garden is going to be a homage to her. So, you all, that is my Dollar Tree haul. I tried to hustle through that so much. I'm not even going to give you the tally of what was spent. It's the most money I've ever spent in a Dollar Tree. But I am kind of, I definitely am actually very happy because I can't believe I'm going to be able to have my yard looking decent with all the things I purchased today. So if you have any questions or comments for me, put them in the, um, I, I forgot something. <gasps> I did forget something. I picked up this welcome sign to put on the front door. And let me quickly show you this. These wind chimes to hang. Is my wind chime working? Ooh, it's just a little stuck right now. A little bent. We'll get that working though. But the beautiful wind chime, just like the butterfly. 
and I picked up a sun wind chime. That's two of them together. And look at those colors. They're just so beautiful. I mean, I know they may seem like more fall colors, but it's just more my MO, what I like. And then last but not least this time. <laughs> this blue and gold butterfly. Wind chime. That says it all. Take care. And until next time, have a great day on purpose.